What's up, my turtles? I'm Close Turtle, and I'm back for some cards and castles, but this time I'm actually not doing an episode. So somebody in the comment section, um, so they asked me if I could do a deck building tutorial for beginners. So I said that that'd be cool, and I'm gonna do it. So let's just, well, start, let's start cleaning up our inventory. We have enough to craft legendary, guys. Name which one in the comment section. I'll be glad to craft a legendary. Alright, so, first of all, let's, let's, you have to choose your factions if you're going to make a deck. So, I'll just choose Pirate and Ninja for this example. So, in my kind of deck, that I like, in a deck that I like to use, I like to have at least one one-drop card. Or zero, but zeros are kind of useless. Except for Merchant's Favor, which, if we're running a Pirate deck, you most likely are going to be running at least one of those. So, let's just put one in, for example. So, let's put in uh, one. These are the one cost cards for the factions that I have chosen. These are all of them. What I like to do is at least put in one one drop card. So whether it be a building or a unit. For this example, let's use Filthy Peasant. We'll put in three because usually you want to have a, a few low costs. And sometimes you want to have low cost spells. So we'll put in one patient study and a murderer's mask. So now you got, let's see, you got six cards that are one cost. Then you usually go to the two cost cards. These cards are usually cards that you want to have in your hand but, um, in the beginning. So Dragon's Horde is a great card to have. Flying Books for card draw. And this is just because I'm using a pirate deck. And sometimes you want to get buildings in there. I'm not going to put these in the deck. But sometimes you want to get lower cost buildings. And sometimes you just want to get um, lower cost cards. We'll put in like two merchants estates and we'll put in a ninja training so now we've got let's see eight cards that are two costs so now about a fourth of our deck is lower cost cards this is for the beginners later game you usually don't use the exact same thing because you're using a lot of more combo decks but in the beginning you want to use at least a fourth of your deck being lower cost cards then you go to the three costs these are the cards that you're gonna have that are gonna be Coming in around turns three, four, five, and maybe six. So we'll put in let's put in like six units to start. And we'll make it nine units. And we'll put in this. Put in a few spells. So now we've got twenty-seven cards in our deck, making this uh let's see, that's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, three cost cards. So then you can usually go to four and you pick up one or two. Not run into you, pick up a few. So I'll just pick up a Flux Staves, a Karu the Hand, Merciless Santa, <clears throat> and I'll pick up a Ronin. So we have four, four costs. Now the five, sixes, and sevens, depending on what faction you're playing, will vary. So I'll just put in three judges. Sometimes you don't actually know, we'll take all the judges, we'll, put, we'll make it up, uh, Pegacorns. So now you've got 34 cards in your deck, you got 24 minions. By the way, if you're making a deck, make sure you at least, in my opinion, I think having 20 minions is the best case scenario. At least 20 minions. Because then you can, then you know half your deck is minions, so you have a 1 in 2 chance of drawing a minion every turn. So, oh my, Jesus. My Siri keeps activating. This has been happening in all the videos, I don't know why. Powering off my phone. All right. <laughs> so, um, six costs. It it really if you I think in the beginning, um, unless you open up a bunch of packs, the only cards you really get are Windfall Griffin for six drops. Uh, in my opinion, this is a meh card. I'd much rather be using like Frozen Beast or Vile Roth the Devourer. But for this, for this case, we'll just put in these two dudes. Seven plus. You're only gonna get. Um, Northlands Rangers in the beginning, unless you get all these these cool cards that I have here. And if you're playing a deck that involves expensive cards, you put them in. If not, um, you usually just don't. I'm gonna put in spell, and I want to get spells. No, okay. Uh, and see, I have 28 minions. That's a little much, so I'm gonna take out um. Like two Pegacorns, we'll take out the Ronin, and now we have six more, um, six more spells. So we'll put in spells there. 
and let's just put in, I don't know, let's put in Shadow Slip, put in Face the Dragon, we'll put in uh, two, three, no, let's put in two Cannonball Barrages and two Spirit Drains. And there you go, now you got your deck, and you rename it whatever you want, uh, whatever. And if you have extra castles, you change the castle. Now, I'm not going to be using this deck, this is just something I put together, so I'm going to delete it. But I guess I'll show you one of my decks that I'm using. And that's the freeze damage deck that I made. As you can see, so I actually, in this deck, I do not have any one-drop minions. But that's because I don't really need one-drop minions for this deck to work. Because I have a bunch of two-drops. So I only have six one-drop cards. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Yeah, eight, eleven, twelve, uh, two-drops. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three drop cards. And I'm just saying drop for like three cost cards, I guess, because it's not all of them are things you can drop. Some of them are just spells. I only have four four costing cards. I only have three five cost cards, one six, one seven, one eight, and two nine. Now this might not be the same for you, because you don't you might not have Yarm Giant or Grimok the Gorilla King, but that's just an example. And then here, let's show off the heal deck I have. This one's a little lopsided because it's healing cards, and I put in everything that has to do with healing. So I do have a Filthy Peasant, and then two, 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 a bunch of threes, and then, like, it just jumps to five, six, seven, ten. Now, that's not the best deck. It's kind of just a troll deck. Dragons has a little bit more ramping with ones, then you go to twos. Then you go to threes and fours and fives and sixes. And then, like, if you have extra dragons, you put them in. Because the more expensive ones kind of don't go seven, eight, nine, ten. So, that's that right there. So, that's really how you make a deck easily. Because sometimes uh, not everybody really has the cards to, like, easily make a deck. So, you know, we'll just choose basic. Which some reason now includes the Monster Island cards. I don't know. Uh, but, I mean, like, these are the cards you got. The only zero costs you got are Sacrifice, Rat, Murphy's Favor, and Zombie. Most likely, you're not going to be running Rat and Zombie. You're going to mostly, you're going to be running Murphy's Favor if you're playing Pyre. I don't know if you're going to be playing Sacrifice. For one drops, Brewery, Archer, Filthy Peasant, Ice Weaving, um, Sunburst, Swiftness. Those are all pretty good cards, I guess. I mean, for like basic ones, they're okay. I like Filthy Peasant, 2-3. Good card to have on your first turn. So, there you go. That's a deck building tutorial. And uh, I hope that you guys found this useful. And um, thank you so much for 50, for 50 subscribers. By the time this goes up, I, I already have... Actually, I already have more by the time I'm recording this. But thank you guys so much for the subscribe for the 50 subscriber milestone. It's awesome. And also, um, if you guys really if you guys enjoy those live streams that I've been doing of Plants vs Zombies Heroes, um, leave a comment, and I'm gonna try to find times that I might be able to do more PVZ Heroes um, live streams. The uh, thing I'm using only has a seven day trial, and it's nearing its end. Um, but I might be able to just buy it and do some live streams for you guys if you like that stuff. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck building. Hope you guys found this useful, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!